Is the gentle looking to forget his worries for a while? Discretion guaranteed. I haven't had an angry wife come here yet. Are you the owner of this establishment? Of course, precious. Welcome to Auntie Yaja's body house. Who usually plays the piano here? Would that it were only one. We get no shortage of has-been artists here, or them that try to bamboozle the girls into giving them a better price, especially if they're drunk. One of the girls saw it in a pawn shop. It wasn't cheap. Your employees play too? I can find you someone that can tickle the ivories. But that's not what I pay them for. Tell me about this place. All right, precious. Ask away. When you send your girls out to work, aren't you concerned about their safety? You must be the reason Anastasia and Clementina came back crying. Do you know how long it took me to calm them down? At least here they are safe. They are safe out there. Is that clear? Are all the girls local? I know places like this offer lodgings to those arriving in the city in exchange for their services. If you're implying something precious, I can assure you that all the ladies here work of their own free will. Imagine coming here to be a cleaner or teach children, and then the only thing anyone really wants to pay you for is your ass. I'm the reason they can make a living. No offense, precious, but you have no idea what it's like. Does Piotr Kjusta live here too? That one always finds his way around. He's a nitwit. The girls like him and he likes them. As long as he knows his place, he can hang out here. Where are his parents? Who knows? He's a foundling. Let's change the subject. Finally. Shall I find you a companion? Thank you. Maybe I'll return later. You're blushing, precious. Well, goodbye then. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Am I a magician or what? A friend of Piotrusius, you can ask, just be discreet. 
What about Tadeusz Kielecha? Do you know anything about him? What a miserable chap. No one could ever cheer him up. It must be really hard for his wife now. A friend of a friend saw him in a moonshine often. A local joint. I know where it is. Anything else? Thank you for being willing to talk to me. Goodbye. Give my best to Piotruś. Hey, what are you up to? Bothering the lady? Nothing comes for free. I was only asking the lady a few questions. I'll take my leave. Over my dead body. Forget it. This is nothing, really. Just I let you chat, that's all. I'm supposed to step in if any fishermen or other scum bother you. So I am. Unless you want to be left alone. And you? Come here. Losing a few teeth will teach you not to waste the hooker's time. Sneaking up on us. Do you know Tadeusz Pielecha? Poor guy. He was the one the fisherman got this time. You shouldn't say bad things about the dead. But? Pielecha came to visit us, our body house, the day before he died. He wouldn't pay, so... And Yaja, the madam, had him thrown out. Thank you. I will talk to her. I've had it. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to stay here any longer, getting wet and tempting fate. Let's go. Yaja will get over it. Good evening. Are you a night owl too? I can't sleep with this downpour. Have you seen anyone suspicious here lately? Other than you? This is Powiśle. Everyone's suspicious here. What are you selling? My late husband's junk. I don't need to look at all of this if I can't look at him. I'm sorry for your loss. No point brooding over it. The river giveth, and the river taketh away. Do you have any valuables to sell? Like... jewelry? 
What jewelry? Look at me. I had Pieleha's ring, but I sold it to a pawn shop. Money don't stink, you know. They didn't want anything else anyway. And where is this pawn shop? At Brovarno Street. But it's probably closed at this time. I have to go now. Goodbye. Have you looked around? Any special requests? Tell me about this place. Yes? I've heard that Deus Pilecha came here the day before he died. You're not from around here, precious, are you? What are you snooping around for? I'm ashamed to say. Precious, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Tell Auntie what's on your mind. Nothing excites me more than touching things that have been touched by dead people. We make our customers' dreams come true, but this will cost you. How about this? You let me in the rooms, and I won't tell anyone you killed Pilecha for his debts. You've got a wild imagination, precious. Can you see me, an older woman, dragging an adult man's body? It doesn't matter. All that matters is what people believe once the rumor spreads. No one will visit the brothel where customers get killed. Go on. Upstairs with you. Just don't scare my girls. Or you kill me like you killed Pileha? All I need to do is have you thrown out, precious. Feel it? It's the smell of mystery.
Just no brawling, please. What can I get you? I know Tadeusz Pielecha liked to come here. Wouldn't you rather have a drink? I... I don't feel like talking about Tadek. You miss him, so do the others. You've known him for ages, and now the mere mention of his name tears a hole in your heart. Help me, and I will do him justice. Yeah, it's a damn shame. If he went back to his wife that night rather than here, I guess he'd be still alive. That means he spent his last night here? Yeah, when he left, that was the last we ever saw him. It was pissing down that night, too. And a few days later, he was lying sprawled out on the river bank like a dead fish. I suppose you don't have many customers on rainy nights like that. Hmm? Can you remember who else was here? Just regulars. Same as today, some hookers come by at times. Today we've got one copper and one intrusive posh boy, which is unusual. I mean you. Did Pielecha leave alone? Gienek, the steel worker, left with him, but he came back shortly after and passed out in the corner. Then a hooker went out, probably to work. Do you remember which one? Clara. She's the caring one. She chums around with that little shit Yusta. Did you talk to him? Tadek did more drinking than talking. He only complained that Yaja had him removed from the brothel. He didn't avail himself of it, and he wouldn't pay for nothing. Other than that, no. He was a man of few words. I'll be off now. Good riddance. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. How can I help you, sir? Are you buying? Pledging? Art, cards, old farts, top coats, key, jewelry. I'd like to see your jewelry. Gems, bangles, spangles. Wedding rings, golden. Uh huh. Congratulations. Preferably from a stiff. I know you've got one here. What does a magician need a ring like that for? I've already told you, I'm getting married. I do have one, but it's not for sale. It brings me luck. Can I just take a look at it? No looking. I'm not going to play any games with you. Show me the ring. Well, this is a game I'm not going to play. Zihu, Rishi, come here. It's time for some fisticuffs.
the wedding ring. All right, already. Here. Auntie Clara, what did you do to the boy? Piotrusz's older friend. I expected this to be only a matter of time. I warned you he would get hurt. Why is he lying still? What did you do to him? For now. He's only sleeping. The little angel. Like the others. Move away from him. None of this is his fault. True. He was bright. He connected the dots quickly and found this place. And this is why you want to kill him now? I don't want to. But I must. Because of you. You're to blame for the boy wanting to play detective. And now his blood will be on your hands. Piotrek is a bright lad, and he's got his entire life ahead of him. He trusted you. Yes. He was the only one who never looked down on me. It's all your fault. Everything would have worked out if it wasn't for this pesky kid. Why are you even doing this? Why wouldn't I be doing this? Why wouldn't I slaughter those stinking sods? My only regret is that I didn't start sooner. You won't hurt him the same way you were hurt because you don't hate him. I have seen and felt how carefree you become in his presence, as if he gave you back moments of childhood that you never had. I'm sorry, Piotrusz. Now we'll leave together. No, magician. Piotrusz has all the time in the universe. I don't. Stop! What the fuck is this place? Who's this woman? Is she... She's your fisherman. She's the one behind. Fucking hell. I knew I would regret it. Don't tell me the kid is dead too. Well? He's alive. Then wake him up and let's get out of here. It really stinks of fish. Everything okay? You're right. 
all right yeah I'm all right you're lucky the kids in one piece how could you be so irresponsible and act alone there was no time to think I had to act fast and I think you followed your pride mr. great Talmud I'm sorry for dragging you into this, lad. Nah. Forget about it. The risk comes with the job. But I guess you'll have to conduct your next investigation without me. How did you end up on this table? I found this dive, and as I was going to get you, Auntie Clara showed up. Then, I don't remember. Hmm, I understand. I'm sorry, I didn't notify you before. Apologizing won't change the fact that the murderer... The murderess is dead. Would you ever think she's the murderess? No. This is where my intuition failed. I also didn't anticipate that she'd take her life like this. What will happen to Cayetano now? The perpetrator is deceased, so now I have to tie all the murders to her corpse. It'll take a while without a testimony. Seeing as you've bungled everything here, I'm tempted to hold your painter until he croaks. Just tell me when you release him. I'll call you. I'll be waiting for your call regarding Cayetano's case, Commissioner. Sure. Goodbye. Take care, partner. We did good. Let's go. I'll show you the police station. Secrets, not on my watch.
Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Fate has brought us together again, Viktor Shulsky. Why do you bother King of the Tempermancers? I learned from my mistakes, and now the time has come for me to reclaim the throne and the title that I deserve. Come on, I dare you! Do you pester other Thalmacids too? Of course not. The others are insignificant compared to you. I dare you! I will renounce the throne. Just leave me alone. But. This is the way! Otherwise, how are we going to find out who is more worthy of their power? I've heard there's a powerful Tempermancer in Povishle. Go bother him. But the title... I... I... Let me rest. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
Am I a magician or what? Nothing can be kept secret from me. Secrets, not on my watch. There we have it. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time.
The things people come up with. Let's wait. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Aren't your legs getting sore? Stupid question. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I've got some fresh ideas for you. I see what it is you are getting at, but the collection still seems to have some missing pieces. Please, keep looking. We need bold concepts, unusual combinations, 
I'm counting on you. Meanwhile, I shall attend to my work. Please, excuse me. I won't bother you. All right. Teodosia Majewska's bathhouse, Victorius speaking. Trotsky, this is Pilevin. I was waiting for your call, Commissioner. Go on. They released Cayetan in the morning. I thought you'd want to know. I cleared him of all the charges, but he doesn't really care. How did the fisherman's, I mean, Clara's case end? That's covered with investigative secrecy. I see. And what about... Hello? It's you. How was jail? A place like any other. I helped Pilevin find the real murderer. I mean, murderess. He told me. How does freedom feel? Normal. The river giveth and the river taketh away. I see you're not interested in small talk. So let's pick up where we left off last time. You rescued him when he wanted to end things, but you took advantage of his condition to feed on his floor. I think it's time for him to be rid of you. The river giveth and the river taketh away.
I doing this? What do I need you for? No, this is not true. Not true, not true, not true. I'm too close. I've dealt with better ones than you. You're mine. What was that? What happened? The river giveth and the river taketh away. But never again. The river no longer flows through you. What? What do you mean? I rid you of the salutar that was tormenting your mind. I didn't ask you to. Is this why you were so bent on getting me out of jail? It was more about justice. Yeah, sure. Thanks. And now what? Something flipped in my head? What should I do? Whatever you like. It's all up to you now. Okay. Now I would like to clean up. I need to air the place because it reeks. Worse than the cell. Good evening. I thought that there'd be something to look at. Much ado about nothing. Who are you? Last time a different housekeeper came to greet me. How about that? What? Don't you like us? I do, I do. It's a big change. A positive one. There, see? He's not so bad. This is Maria. And this is Magdalena. We've all been waiting for you. Maria and Magdalena. Very interesting. Do you work for the Nandarzyńskis? Grigory invited us here. He's waiting for you. Look at you two, joined at the hip. Are you ever apart? Rarely. We complete one another. Not just in conversation. Stop it. I'm sure he's not here to talk to us. Then what do you want? I've come to see you, Rasputin. We know, we know. It looks familiar. And yet different.
At last, the wait is over. Here he is. Sit down, Victor. What's going on? What sort of little shindig is this? It's an expression of gratitude. You've gone to great lengths. Is this for me? I appreciate my friends. Don't forget that. Now sit down. You'll soon see what I prepared. I came because my head's hurting again. Have a seat, please. Support the weak. Be patient towards all men. The moment has finally come. Here too is my loyal friend, Viktor Sholsky. It's thanks to him that we are where we are. And we will be in the future where we intend. My mind has long been flooded with bloody visions. In their scarlet color, the mists of the future are reflected. I see a great star falling to the blood-stained earth, and the force of its impact tears the roof from sacred temples, including the Orthodox Church of St. Mary Magdalene, here in Praga. The earth swallows up the Iberian Gate. Kazan Cathedral stands underwater, and Notre Dame de Paris is consumed by fire. Our homeland will then be exhausted by an illness that has long eaten away at her. There is a feeble spark of hope for us. It still flickers, though it may soon go out. No. The heir to the throne, little Alexei Romanov, is ill. What's troubling him? Life is spilling out of him. The devil himself is tearing him apart from the inside, demanding blood. Poor child. But let's not be sad. This news is joyful, as a matter of fact. Because now we know where the source of the danger is, and I can help him. I will heal the heir, just as I healed Victor, though he was bereft of hope. Isn't that true, friend? It's true. If not for Grigori, I wouldn't be among you anymore. I'd have lost my mind. But thanks to his miracles, I'm still here, and I can testify to that. I've helped you, just as you've helped us all. Thank you, friend. You can count on me. Admirable loyalty. Impressive. You gave us a chance. And as God as my witness, I won't waste it. Healing the Tsarevich means healing something much greater. The future. A future where each of us will receive equality and respect. Regardless of who we are. Free from the afflictions of the body and the soul. Leaving in health and its resulting ecstasy. Finally, in a future in which we can do anything, but don't have to do anything. Offering unhindered freedom. To the Thaumaturge's health! I'd rather not wake up to sights like that. My head's about to explode. You didn't want Ligia to see you in such a state. In that case, it could have been one of my best decisions. Looking at the events of last night may be the only right one. Time to get up, get yourself together, and we'll talk later. Sleep is a waste of time.
There you are, finally. Listen, I really can't handle this anymore. Well, I'm not going to refuse you. Her sadness. Heartbreakingly cold. How can we tame her? Stop fighting her. What? There's no need to resist. Go to her. Let me soothe this melancholy. Let it engulf you. Do you have a moment? For you, always. This whole farce, the thank yous, what's it all for? What intentions do you have towards me? Intentions? That we become friends and help one another, and complement one another. I have skills that you don't, and vice versa. I'm not hiding anything from you, Victor. This place looked different. The another risk is the two. Everything is happening according to their will and with their blessing. Not all of them are as favorable to you as your hosts. The housekeeper quit. Well, Jesus had opponents too. And look how it worked out for him. You're aiming high. The highest. Anything else you want to share? All these people, you've gathered a colorful group. We all come from different environments, from different rungs on the ladder. And that's the most beautiful thing about this. What have you found out about them? Maria is calculated. She stays close because in you she sees a chance for a better life. And what's wrong with that? I respect that. I don't demand that you all gaze upon me like a sacred icon. But loyalty? There are all sorts of ways a person can win that for themselves. Anything else? Aniela is unknowable, and Lucian is unhappy about the changes taking place in her. Aniela has completely given up her lust for my sake. She'd rather just pray and pray. I respect that greatly, but I must share my time with others. Do you think that Lucian is jealous about the time his wife devotes to me? It's possible. Don't worry about it. Keep talking and asking. Enough about these people. I'm at your service, Victor. Ask for what you want. I'll leave you alone. I've got business to get back to. Go in health, friend.
Nothing can be kept secret from me. What a day. Let's wait until... So, let's kill some time. Yes? Please, set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied. I haven't seen you here before, young man. You look exhausted. What brings you here? I must have gotten lost. I don't know yet where my path is taking me. Are you a believer? I believe in a higher power. But during my travels, I learned that God appears under many guises. People dress God up in different forms, and all are true. There is no way of defining him. I sense you have doubts, questions, so ask. What is the Church's position on Thaumaturgy? That's a fairly difficult subject. There is hope for all, even for those who live in great sin. So, in your opinion, Father, being a Thaumaturge is a sin? It's not up to me to say what's a sin and what isn't. But there's hope for everyone, young man. You're an exorcist, aren't you? I've heard you regularly drive Satan out of people here. Yes, it's true. 
Does it often work? If the flame of Doubting Thomas flickers inside you, you can soon witness the miracle of exorcism with your own eyes. Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you really believe that nonsense, Father? That demons dwell inside people? Is that calculation? Or... habit? I think we aren't so different from one another. I don't question the existence of your demons, Thaumaturge. I had to ask. Is there still something troubling you? Do you know Grigory Rasputin, father? He also visited this place not long ago. Rasputin. I haven't seen him here, but yes, I know him. And I remember him well. It's impossible to forget someone like that. How do you know one another? From back in Petersburg, he was looking for protection, posing as a great preacher. But I was suspicious of him. He was nothing more than an ordinary charlatan. Just talking about that man sullies the palate with sin. Why do you ask about him? No reason. You get some peculiar guests here, Father. There is room in God's house for everyone. It's no secret that Tsarina Alexandra is particularly God-fearing. Do you know her well? As well as a confessor can. So, quite well. If you're looking for gossip about Her Imperial Majesty, you've come to the wrong place. There are plenty of people at Rozhitsky Bazaar eager for such chit-chat. I feel as though this is not an accidental meeting. I'll be off. I'm sure you have more urgent matters to attend to, Father. I'll be here if you want to talk. And remember, darkness does not exist without light. If your demons are real, then so is God who cursed them. People of Praga, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot do that. You're not going to tell us what we can and cannot do, Russian minion. This is our home. We won't have you bring Satan into our homes. What's the reason for this commotion? Have you been living under a rock? People's souls are at stake here. You bet. Ladies and gentlemen, the Praga district must and will get access to a modern sewage system. Everybody here knows this is nothing more than a Jewish plot to control upright citizens. Freemasonry. Everybody knows that. Good people, progress is inevitable. Whether you want it or not. Warsaw cannot stay the continent's backwater forever. Your kind has always tried to delude us. How about we check your foreskin? We'll hold our ground, the chosen people.
your methods might be anomalous, but it's the effect that counts, right? Thank you. It's nothing, really. Where do you think you're going, know it all? Oh, we're running a business here. It's you. What do you know? Please, please help me. I only ask these kind gentlemen for directions. To Albuquerque, is that right? Are you done? Look at them goddamn bigwigs. You're not gonna make fools out of us, you clown. There is no such thing as Albuquerque. Albuquerque! Shut your mouth. We can forget the whole thing if you drop your wallet. You can chip in too since you popped up. And with that, you signed your own death warrant. Please be careful. You think you can mess with Praga folk? Get him! Get the fuckers! <laughs> Say, this was the best combat I've seen so far. They didn't fight like that in the Albuquerque Saloon. Anytime. Thank you again for your help. Walter Pinkman. Victor Shulski. 
I don't want to worry you, but Warsaw is not on the way to Albuquerque. It depends on how you look at it. If it wasn't for you, my journey would have ended here. Thank you again, Mr. Shulsky.